Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 7. Uh, in the last video, I made a little bit of a mistake by not anticipating the possibility that there might be a cloak. I didn't anticipate that, and as a result, I did not build the force field first before I built that base. Okay, I should have, since I have the mobile builders here, put down the force field around the advanced factory waited for it to be completed, and then put out the colony ship and change that into the, the orbital command station here. We also talked last video about how since we have the advanced factory, we can now build Mark IV ships of any type that we've built the Mark III ship. We know that one of the AIs is using a 9 Zool ship, which was countered by our missile frigates. And so far, our missile frigates have been the most useful ship type out of all the ships that we have, so I think it would be wise for us to use science to unlock the Mark III missile frigate. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to press tab and we're going to go to the Vazi, our home system, where our science lab is. And I'm going to press S to select the science lab. It's right here. We can see that it is exhausted. That means that it's already collected 3,000 science from Vazi. If I click where it says my ships, there's a whole bunch of other options here. Okay. One of them is knowledge found. If I select knowledge found, we can see that at Vazi it says 3,000 over it. But this has zero and this has zero. Okay, I own these systems, but there's no knowledge that I have collected there. All right? We can collect knowledge there by moving my science lab into that system. If I press S to bring up my science lab and then just right click on Pabonmati here, it's going to move over there once I unpause it. And then it'll start collecting the 3,000 science we can get from Pabonmati. I'm going to hit B to build something, and I'm going to go to the Econ tab. We'll find the science lab right here. Okay, Don't bother with the Mark II science lab. Mark I is fine. All right, I'll put that right next to the force field generator. Now, once I unpause it and those are built, that will start to collect those 3,000 science. Then I'll get 6,000 more. Okay, I've got 13,000 science right now. Let's spend it. I'm going to go to my home base. My science lab is selected here by S. All right, On the 1 to 3 tab, that's your Mark I through Mark III unlocks. All right. So here's the scout, the fighter, the bomber, the missile frigate, and the tank. I want to unlock the missile frigate. In the barely readable blue text there, it says required knowledge 2,500. I have 13,000. I'm going to spend 2,500 to unlock the tier 2 missile frigate. And then that makes this button available, which is the tier 3 missile frigate, which costs 4,000 knowledge. I'm going to unlock that as well. Since we have the advanced factory, if I now press D to select my dock, which is this building, we can see that the Tier 2, Tier 3, and Tier 4 missile frigates are now available. I'm going to put them into my building. I'm going to grab my scout drones, and I want to know what's going on in Murdra. Now that we have al under our belt, we want to have continuous scout knowledge here in Murdra as well. So I'm going to send those scouts there, and hopefully one of them will survive and be able to pr provide us continual scout knowledge. You can see from the bottom left info card there in red that I last scouted this system over 23 minutes ago. So we need some updates on Murdra. So we're going to move our science lab, build our second science lab. We've unlocked those missile frigates, and we've queued them all up to be built. Let's now work on countering the the cloaking technology that one of those AIs is going to use. We're going to hit S to bring up the science lab. And what I use, like to use to counter stealth is under turret technologies on the far right, there's an a tachyon beam emitter. All right. Now, this is just a little immobile turret that only has 200 health. That's a one shot kind of health. OK, and it's almost no health. And it will decloak enemy ships. Now, this is only good under, from underneath the force field, because if it's not underneath the force field, then the second you decloak that ship, it's going to just immediately fire a shot and destroy this tachyon beam commit emitter. Now, granted, a remains rebuilder can come over and rebuild those remains, but it's just going to immediately decloak a ship, which is going to immediately destroy it, and it's just going to be this cycle where it's just being continually destroyed. All right. So we'll go ahead and unlock it so we can decloak ships from underneath force fields. Now, the next one up. That only costs 250 knowledge, by the way. The next one up is the Stealth Tachyon Beam Emitter. It costs 1,500 knowledge, and it's exactly the same thing as the other Tachyon Beam Emitter, but it has a much better range, 8,000 instead of 4,000, so twice as much range, and it's cloaked. Let's unlock that. We can put that in places where we do not have a force field. Let me show you. I'm going to hit B to build something. And under the turrets tab on the right, now we have 19 tachyon beam emitters and 19 cloak tachyon beam emitters. That's only that's 19 for the whole galaxy, not not per system. Okay, so 
I'm going to go ahead and by mousing over my orbital command station, I can look at the attributes of that. Does my orbital command station emit a tachyon beam? No. So we want to put a tachyon sentinel right next to our orbital command station. We have a force field here, so I'm going to use the standard tachyon beam emitter. One is fine. We can see the aura where it's going to decloak ships. Where are the warp gates? Here, here, and here. If we imagine the lines, they're going to come from that direction, so I want to put the tachyon beam emitter right there. All right. I'm also going to put one of the cloaked tachyon beam emitters, the stealth tachyon beam emitter, near the Durbin gate. I do not have a force field right here, but I do want to know if he sends a cloaked unit to me over here. So I'll use the cloaked one so that they don't immediately destroy it as soon as it decloaks them. Let's do something similar here in Alhizer, all right? Alhizer also has the orbital command, the economic orbital command station, no tachyon beam. So I'm going to hit B to put the standard tachyon beam underneath the force field. Where's the gate? It's over there, okay? So I'm going to put it on the left side there. We're also going to grab a stealth tachyon beam emitter, and we're going to stick that right next to this unprotected murder gate. It's cloaked. It won't be destroyed. Right? That's all we're Very doing. Good. Okay. I'm going to go back to Alhizer. I'm going to grab all those turrets that I placed down here. This is kind of too many turrets. I'm just going to drag a box around those turrets. I want to delete half of these turrets. So an important key to remember in this game is L to select less of whatever you have selected. Right now, I've got 48 of each missile turret selected. I want half of those less. So I'm going to press L. Now I've got half of them selected. I'm going to press delete to scrap them. You get back 10% of the cost, but they don't take up all that energy anymore. I'll get a bunch of energy back. Okay. Now we can see over here, here's the stealth tachyon beam emitter, and here's a stealth chip just sitting there, okay, just hanging out by the warp gate. Okay. There's probably 12 other enemy ships of this planet right now, you can see right here, and see this tachyon beam emitter is 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 revealing them. So now our turrets and our ships are able to go take them out. We've already taken control of Pabamati and, and Alhazer, and we've fortified them with with turrets and with uh, with anti-stealth technology. So we're ready to defend uh, these ways. But we don't have any defense here at Durban, and this is one of the adjacent systems from my home world. I always capture all the adjacent systems from the home world as as the first things I do. So let's capture Durban next. It won't take much, okay? Durban does not have a lot of defense. They've only got about 10 ships there. Uh, they've got one guard post that's out in the middle of nowhere, okay? So, well, let's just do that right now. It's just going to take a second. It'll be really quick. So let's go ahead and grab our fleet. We're going to move them down towards the Durban gate. I'm going to send those Mark I fighters through, and then I'm just going to send those Mark I fighters right over to destroy that orbital command station. The fighters are fast, okay? It doesn't take a, much damage to destroy this command station. It's only got 5,000 health, okay? So it's, it just takes a few moments. Any ship will take it out in just a few moments if you ask it to. Once that's destroyed, I can build a base there. But I don't want to just send a colony ship through because I know they're using stealth now. So I'm going to go ahead and press uh, B to build something, and I'm just going to build a mobile builder. That's under construction tab. Uh, right over here is the mobile builder, and I'm going to drop a mobile builder right next to the Durban gate here. I'll ask that mobile builder to go through as soon as it's done, and let's go ahead and grab this fleet right here, and grab less of them by pressing L, and I'm going to have them go through the gate and sit on the other side. All right. I'll wait for the mobile builder to appear. There it is. Okay, now that the mobile builder is here, I'm going to pause it. Now, I'm going to imagine that line... There's only one gate, there's two gates here. There's one that goes to our home system, and then this one, which is going to go towards the enemy territory. So if I imagine a line coming from the enemy territory gate towards my gate, it's like this, okay? If I just extend that line right back here, this is where I want to put my economic command station, okay? Because then I can defend this Vazi gate, and if they were to go for the station, they'd have to pass right through that to get to the base, okay? But I don't want to just drop a colony ship because I know the enemy is using stealth. So I'm going to hit B to build something at my mobile builder. I'm going to go to turret, uh, support, excuse me, and I'm going to go ahead and just put down one of my force field generators right here. I'll go ahead and have all of my ships go right here. And let's also build uh, one of those tachyon beam emitters, the ones that can go underneath the force field, because I'm just building a force field right now, right there. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to build an economic command station right underneath this force field.
just like that. Pre-defended. If cloaked ships were to try to take out this base, like they did in that other system, they would run into a force field, a decloaking unit, and a bunch of ships that they, they could never possibly penetrate before I got it up and running. Okay. If they send defenses here, then I can put defenses, or if they send an offense here from Barolu or over in that direction, I can just fortify this Vazi warp gate now. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to hit B to build something. We're going to go to support. I'm going to go ahead and put a force field generator, and let's put that right around the Vazi gate. Then we're going to go to turret, and I'm going to put, let's say, well, the full complement. We'll go, go ahead and put 24 flak and 24 lightning turrets right here, because that's going to go underneath this force field, right? Then let's grab these sniper turrets, and I'm going to put a whole, uh, all 48, a full complement of 48 of them right back here, all right? Anybody that tries to attack this system, like this Zenith Autobomb Mark IV, as you can see, it's going to make a line going straight towards the base right here, okay? And that's going to cross right over this warp gate, where all of these turrets in this force field are. I'm also going to put a uh, tractor beam turret, let's say maybe three of them right there. And let's go ahead and then grab some missile turrets, since they have this excellent range, and we'll put them right out here as well. Those will be able to cover that whole distance right there. Right? So that's going to bring a close to this seventh video in this video tutorial series. Again, you're watching Tamaron's Tactics. My name is Nuck Tamaron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.